Hey guys, what's up? It's another little quick video. Got this today. This is the 303 touchless sealant. Got it at AutoZone for about eight bucks. It's a 16 ounce bottle. Water activated for paint and glass and you can use it on your wheels and everything. Spray on and rinse off, last longer than wax, and deep wet shine. There's some instructions right there. So basically what you would do to this, you can either use this as a topper on top of wax or your protect, uh, paint sealants or ceramic coatings or anything, or you can use this as a standalone product. Either way it works fine, as what I can see. But what's so cool about this is you literally just spray it on, let it sit for couple, you know, about like a 30 seconds or a minute, not too long, just don't let it dry, especially if it's hot, you know, spray it on, let it sit for a couple seconds and you literally just spray it off rinse it off and there you go you got a paint sealant that's going to last about six months i don't know if that's true but it lasts a couple months or so um it will bring up the shine uh make the water bead and um protect it from the u uh, have you be uv protection <laughs> so so why i mainly got this is not the use of my paint because i use my mcguire's ceramic detailer for that but I got this for mainly um, inside the wheels, like, you know, behind the rims, like the barrels and everything. Well, you can't really get, you know, any wax. You hand back there the wax them or anything. So this is perfect because I can just spray that on the inside of the rims, rinse it off, and it's protected. And, you know, stuff won't stick as easy. And this is also good for, you know, windows. That's another main thing I want to use it for is, you know, my windshield and windows and everything because... I don't know, I don't feel like messing with, with, with windows. They, I have a hard time with windows because they always streak and everything with me. But uh, yeah, I used this on my wheels today and it made them, you know, pretty glossy. They look good. Um, they're slick and smooth and they bead water like crazy. But um, yeah, another thing, I just tested it on this uh, Chevrolet Silverado here. And hold on, so I'm like driving around the golf cart. Don't want to look weird. But um, okay, there you go. Like I was saying, um, you know, this is intended, you know, for the easiest way, you know, to have, like, to put it on your paint, to spray it on, rinse it off. But I just put it on this truck right here, and I realized you can just spray it on there and wipe it off with a cloth, and then you know, just dry it like normal, like you would do anything else, like a spray wax. And that did seem to work. Um, did on this tail light right here. Now this truck is not clean. It's pretty rough. I did compound this uh, part right here, and it is kind of smooth. Not really. Now um, I, I mean, you could just use this like not. You, I think you could use this like not wet and just spray it on there and wipe it off. But I think it'll be work better because you know when you spray it on there and rinse it off because that's what it's intended to do. But yeah, um, this is my first 303 product. Maybe next I'll get the um, their interior thing. But um, let me try it on a piece of plastic. Let me go over here. Let me try it on this piece of plastic right here. Now I don't know if it's gonna do anything because it's not you know a plastic restore or anything like that. But, it may do something. I don't, okay, hold on a second. I don't know if this is because it's wet, or it just, okay, I think it's just because it was wet. Okay, so, for a second, it looked like it did kind of bring the color back in the plastic, and I think it did just a tiny bit. But it brings me to another point. Um, you know, I guess since you know you can just spray this all over your car and rinse it off, it's safe on plastics and rubbers and things like that. So if your car is like mine, you know, you got your window trims and all that, you could just spray it all over that and everything, or just the windows. I'd probably do the trim too. I don't know if it would really do anything, but it would put some type of protection on it or whatever. And like I was saying, the inside of the wheels in there. But yeah, 303 paint sealant.
touchless sealant. My bad.